reception, it's Miss Hosh again, and we're on day four of our favourite five, reading Harry McClary's Rumpus at the Vet. Now, yesterday I introduced some new vocabulary and asked you to choose between two words for each question. I wonder if today I ask some similar questions, you can remember some of the vocabulary we used yesterday to answer the questions, or maybe even come up with some brilliant vocabulary of your own to answer the questions. Okay, let's reread the story and answer some questions. Down at the vets, there were all kinds of pets with troubles and woes, from their ears to their toes, sniffles and snuffles and doses of flu itches and stitches and tummy aches too. So many animals, watchful and wary, and Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. So, what is wrong with all the pets? Some really good answers, well done. There were miserable dogs, cantankerous cats, a rabbit with pimples, and rickety rats, mice with the sneezes, a goat in a rage, and Cassie the cockatoo locked in her cage. Miserable dogs and cantankerous cats. How are the cats feeling? Well done, lots of really good ideas. You really remembered what cantankerous meant in order to answer that question. Great job. Cassie had claws and a troublesome beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. <gasps> what is Cassie the cockatoo like? Some really great answers. I love the vocabulary that you've used to describe what Cassie the cockatoo is like. She pulled it so hard that she plucked out a hair and Harry McClary jumped high in the air. How do you think Harry McClary is feeling? Mm, some really good answers. Well done. You've been thinking very carefully about Harry McClary and how he's feeling when Cassie the Cockatoo plops out his hair. Great job. A bowl full of mice was bundled about. Over it went and the mice tumbled out. What sort of a noise do you think the bowl of mice would make when it fell on the ground? I think some of you have remembered some of the words that we introduced yesterday when we were talking about that. Great. Four fussy budgies with Grandmother Goth flew out of their cage when the bottom dropped off. Grizzly Macduff, with a bottle brush tail, leaped out of his basket and over the rail. What did the cat do when he saw the birds? I'm looking at the picture to help me with that answer. I agree, well done. The Popperdum kittens from Parkinson Place squeezed through an opening and joined in the chase. Barnacle Beasley forgot he was sore. He bumbled and clattered all over the floor. Then Custard the Labrador, Muffin McClay and Noodle the Poodle decided to play. They skidded and scampered and slid all around and bottles and boxes came tumbling down. Do you think the vet waiting room is now a shambles or a mess? Well done. Can you think of any other words that you could use to describe what the vet's waiting room looks like? What a kerfuffle! A scramble of paws, a tangle of bodies, a jumble of jaws, with squawking and yowling and mournful meow. They really were making a terrible row. What sort of noise are the animals making? 
lots of brilliant ideas. I love the vocabulary that you're using. Out came the vet. I'll fix them, she said. But she tripped on a lead and fell over instead. What has happen happened to the animals and the vet? Hmm, that's right. Well done. Geezer the goat crashed into a cage. He butted the bars in a thundering rage. How do you think Geezer the goat is feeling right now? Well done. That's a really good answer. Cassie got mad. She rattled her beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. How do you think this time Harry McClary is feeling? I wonder if he said the same answer as earlier when he got tweaked by Cassie, or if he had a different word. Well done, that was really good listening and I loved all the answers you used. You remembered some of our really tricky vocabulary that we introduced yesterday and some of you even came up with your own vocabulary that I thought was amazing. So well done and I'll see you again tomorrow.